He isn't a household name just yet, but a 21-year-old is already known across a wide area of northern New England. Our own Jeff, Jeff Eliasoff explains. A face in the crowd at Linden State College's December graduation. Broadcast news major Justin Chenette. His time is now. My generation is the future generation, but I don't want to wait 20 or 30 years to find out, oh, sorry, it's too late to do anything about the growing problems that we face, not only as a, as a state, but as a country. Good thing he graduated early because his new job awaits 140 miles away. I obviously had the challenge of going back and forth between Maine and Vermont. In November, Justin was elected to represent House District 134 in the Maine legislature. It was quite a senior year, 11 months of commuting through the mountains from Lindenville to his home in rustic Saco, Maine. Probably about th three days over in Maine campaigning on the weekend, and then during the week I'd be a college student here at Linden. Pressing the flesh in person and using Facebook from afar paid off. Jeanette beat his Republican opponent by 1,000 votes out of 5,000 cast. Already in Augusta. I'm working with Democrats and Republicans to form an under 30 caucus. Um, and that, again, bridges that political divide and recognizes that let's set the example for the rest of the legislature, the youngins. Let, let's let the, the youngins set the example that we can work together. That was Jeff Eliasoff. And Jeanette was a political writer in Maine before he came to college in Vermont. He's glad things morphed from holding leaders accountable to becoming one of those leaders at the ripe old age of 21.